Okay guys, it's Kanisha your fair hair mother. I'm coming back to you to first show you my face. I'm fully done, I've contoured, I've highlighted. And today specifically I used Motives Mavens uh, Sculpt Series for my uh, contouring and highlighting. So that was really, really exciting. I really love it and I'll talk about it further some other time, but these are what you would use uh, for highlighting and contouring. So anyway, my face is done. And this video is about how to properly put on a short wig. So many people do it wrong, so I'm gonna hope to show you how to do it right. All right, here's a custom creation I'm going to be wearing today. I made her. This is a Kanisha Fairy Hair Mother unit. And uh, I washed her before and then pretty much curled her up. And um, so anyway, I'm going to be putting her on so that you can see how it's supposed to go on, okay? All right, here we go. So here she is. I always take it off the, the head and I always hold the back, all right? And there it is. Then I take the back in my hands like this. Always let the beginning of the unit rest on, the, on your forehead and then pull back like I'm doing now. Make sure that it's laying against, I hope you can see me, against the back of your neck. I can't see, but you can. I'm going to turn back around, okay? So what happens now is I look crazy. I look like Elvis, <laughs> all right? What I do is I adjust the unit first and foremost around my ears. Then I go underneath. You see where the hairline is? It shouldn't be that far uh, close to the forehead. It should be back where the hairline is, right there, okay? And then what I do is I make sure that the other side that I adjust where my ears are. At this point, if their hair is kind of standing out or in the way, you adjust them as necessary, because I curled it, but I didn't really pay much attention to the styling too much, I bring it back. The objective uh, when you're putting on a unit is to make sure that you're framing the unit in such a fashion that it looks, you know, as close to yours as possible. Now we all know I change my hair very frequently and we all know it's not my hair that grew out of my scalp, but I want to make sure that it comes really close or it looks really good. People should say one of two things when you wear a unit or a weave. One, they should say, wow, I know it's not her, but that looks pretty darn good. Or they should say, wow, I wonder if that's her. That looks really, really real. So that's what I'm aiming to do with this particular unit. I curled it. And I wanted a fringe, which is the bang area, for those of you who don't know proper terminology for a bang, proper terminology is a fringe. So I wanted the fringe to look a certain way. Now I'm seeing that this here is kind of hanging. Another thing you might want to do is always make sure that you adjust the unit in such a fashion that you own it. So here I am taking off just a tiny bit of hair to further customize the look. You don't just buy a wig and just throw it on and that's where it ends. No, you want it to have a look that makes it feel as if it can totally be yours or at least that when you're wearing it, you feel like, man, look at that. That looks good. That looks really good. It doesn't look wiggy. It doesn't look wiggy. So that is my objective when I uh, wear a unit at all times and I change my hair and those who know me well those of you who are my clients that are on this uh, watching this video at this time you know that I like to change my hair very 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 frequently and I what I and, and it's always different styles the styles are never the same so my objective at every turn is to ensure that when I wear a unit it feels like me your objective is to make sure that it feels like you, that the hair is not a separate entity from you, but it is an add-on to you, and that you are wearing the hair, and the hair is not wearing you. So with that being said, this is how I apply my units. As you saw, I, I kind of further customized a little bit, because again, this unit has been washed and, and recurled, and so I wanted to make sure that it still had a really nice look to it. You can move the hairs wherever you want them to go. I tend to like for this area to rest right up against my hairline and move just a little closer. You can also, one moment, 
take a little bit of spray. I like to use Design Essentials Formations Finishing Spritz because it doesn't leave residue and it's really, really nice. So I take a little bit of spray. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna train the hair back, which you can do like that. And just create a look that feels, uh, if you don't want that really swoopy look, then you want a little bit of a feathered kind of natural, then I, you create that that way, which is what I just did. Okay, I move the hair over so that there aren't any real like gaps in the hair too much. So when someone's looking at you, it doesn't feel like your hair is all over the place. And what I do too is I put some around the back. You want to make sure that the hair is laying against your neck nicely. You can also, which I won't do on this occasion, take a blow dryer, blow dry it against your neck so that it lays even nicer and tighter. So that's it pretty much in terms of putting on a unit. And I bring the hair close that way where the where the uh, where the sideburns are. I don't like a thick sideburn. It looks really fake. You know, kind of feather it. You know. Let me take off that little extra hair. I'm a little bit of a maniac when it comes to that. So that it lays really nicely where the ears are. Okay. Same thing over there. Everything over there is fine. So now you see what I do to create my look when I'm wearing the unit. There it is. I'm ready to rock and roll. So I just wanted to show you guys. This unit was created by yours truly, Kanisha Fairy Hair Mother. If you're interested in having a custom unit done, uh, please feel free to email me. I will leave my information below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Now you know how to go about wearing a short custom unit and so owning it. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. I don't know how to end these things. All right, bye.